In these uncertain times, the Check Please Bay Area team encourages you to check in with each other, to support local businesses even as we shelter in place. We can think hopefully of a future when we can dine together again. Let's celebrate these businesses together through this episode recorded earlier this year. And it's like a fanfare of carnival food in your mouth. I love it. <laughs> Their thick Belgian waffles are amazing. Pecan pie is kind of a litmus test for me, right? And they nailed it. Mm, loved it. But then when you fry it, you go to the next level. <laughs> That's the next level. Right? <laughs> Check Please Bay Area is made possible by the members of KQBD and by... At Redwood Credit Union, we help people achieve their financial goals together, offering customized full-service personal and business banking for the North Bay and San Francisco. Redwood Credit Union. Total Wine & More, offering more than 8,000 wines, 2,500 beers, and 3,000 spirits. Total Wine & More, now with nine Bay Area locations. TotalWine.com. The Bay Area Airport that's close and reliable. iFlyOAK.com. It's the transplant procedure that didn't just save one life. It saved six. It's a thousand things, big and small. Sutter Health. Hi, I'm Leslie Sabraco. Welcome to Check Please Bay Area, the show where regular Bay Area residents review and talk about their favorite restaurants. Now we have three guests and each one recommends one of their favorite spots and the other two go check them out to see what they think. This week's show is all about the most important meal of the day, breakfast. Musician and radio show host Corey Sklar will share his regal cafe that has been ruling the breakfast scene for 46 years in Oakland. And Cal Grant's administrator Jeannie Powers brings us to her spot that was created when two local pastry chefs fell in love in Castro Valley. But first, executive recruiter PK Parmesan enlists us to experience his pick in Concord. It's a veteran and female-owned destination that offers compassionate service and food made with love. This is Big Country Kitchen. The customers come here, they feel at home. Yeah. That's the feeling. We want you to feel like you're at home. Something for everybody, for the kids to have a good time, for the parents to have a cocktail. My name is Miss B. I am the chef, and we're at Big Country Kitchen. My name is Angie. I'm the owner, and we're in Concord, California. I started cooking a long time ago, then becoming a full-time housewife to a military person. Um, also, at the time, it was Don't Ask, Don't Tell. So it was very quiet. Um, I was a house mouse, and that's when the culinary just really took off. I was bored. Um, if we couldn't go out to eat at a good restaurant, then I would make sure that we had good food. Yeah. And I always wanted to plate it correctly. Yeah, we, and we had some good food. <laughs> Trust me, I gained a few pounds over it. She was skinny with six pack when we met. <laughs> I'm really <laughs> proud about my chef, my wife, and my chef. Proud of her. I'm definitely proud about my wife believing in me and believing in my dream. Oh, God, here it comes. I just want to thank her. I'm really appreciative of that. So that's the most thing that I'm proud of is letting her have my way and um, work my magic and for us to have a good community and people that come in and really cherish our food and love us and love the environment. All right, PK, Big Country Kitchen. I fell in love with this place because um, they are a female-owned, minority-owned um, restaurant. They were a food truck for like a whole year before they became a brick and mortar. And I absolutely love the service. It feels like home there. And um, the food is made to order. And anything on the menu that you don't see, they're able to do it for you. I think they challenge themselves and they have um, a great fan base and I think it's a great comfort food place in Contra Costa. What do you go in and crave? What do you go order? I love chicken and waffles. I don't know about anybody here, but chicken and waffles are the best ever. The way they do it is that it's hand battered. Mm -hmm. um, it's a big, big filet. 
and it's on top of this fluffy uh, waffle and it's drizzled with caramel sauce and it's just delicious. It's just light, tastes fantastic, and it's like a fanfare of carnival food in your mouth. I love it, that's, why I, that's all I can, how I can describe it, absolutely. And Jeannie, what was your experience? I also tried the chicken and waffle. It was delicious. Um, it came with the caramel drizzle, like you said, but it also had maple syrup on the side, so you can get whichever flavor you want. And my favorite thing about the place was the hot sauce table. I love yeah. hot sauce, I love yes. spicy food. So when I saw that table, it's dozens of bottles of hot sauce, whatever kind of hot sauce it's you like want, a buffet you can of get. Hot sauce, yeah. yes. So do you I, put hot sauce on your chicken and waffles? Is that why you're um, tying it, the two together? I put it on the chicken, not you on the waffles. The um, I put it on everything except oh, the yeah. waffle. Yeah, yeah, I ordered a Bloody Mary. I added the hot sauce to that. That was perfect. With a, did you have bacon in it? <laughs> yeah, I didn't ask for it, but that's huh? the garnish. Yeah, yeah, tell me a little bit more about those Bloody Marys. Oh, please. yeah, the Bloody Mary was great. It came out in a tall glass. It had a uh, red, salty, spicy garnish around the rim, mm -hmm. and then um, no celery piece of bacon. <laughs> Just bacon. Everything's yeah. better it's with bacon. It's comfort food. Right? It's breakfast. It was, yeah. <laughs> it was great. Corey, what about you? I walked in and uh, uh, the woman B welcomed me and said, sit wherever you want. And the first thing she let me know, she said, we're out of mimosas. Uh -huh. I said, oh, that's cool. I'll get a Michelada then. And it was the greatest Michelada I've ever had. Wow. B made it to order. I mean, you make every Michelada order, but she made it and it was perfectly spicy. And then she, she did point out the amazing hot sauce bar. Yeah. So that was fun. I took about eight hot sauces <laughs> to my table and started taste testing them before I got any food even. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what did you order to eat? Um, I got the Aunt Lola's special. And uh, first thing uh, B, the woman that was taking everyone's order and cooking there, let me know was that Aunt Lola's 102 years old. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, wow, cool. It was super incredible. It came out with a perfectly fried piece of snapper with this pepper and onion hash on top. Mm -hmm. And it was so crispy and so good. And I said, B, what is this batter on this fish? And she said, that's my special blend. Okay. I'm like, wow, I want to know what's in that blend. Eggs were over medium, perfectly cooked to order, and some, some wonderful potatoes that were extra crispy. Everything tasted so uh, incredible. My, my, my date I was with got the farm hen, I believe that's what it's called, the special? French hen. French the French hen, thank you. Mm -hmm. And um, it came with the, the chicken and the eggs, but it came with uh, the fried French toast. Kind of like a, a gourmet funnel cake, I Absolutely. would say. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. It was yes. incredible. Yeah, I've never had anything like that before. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what else um, do you get when you go there? Um, I also order the uh, fried chicken sandwich, and it was amazing. It, it's a huge piece of chicken, and the way that the batter is just so light, and, you know, when you bite into it, you just get hear the crunch. That's what you <laughs> want in chicken sandwich, correct? Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And they do have a um, secret menu that's on social media. Ooh, I didn't know that. And yes. if I told you, then it wouldn't be a secret. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't tell you what they're What's on the secret menu? Yeah. They have a lot of things on secret menu, so you have to follow their Instagram. Yes. Oh, okay. yes. Any other dishes that you had? Jeannie? Yes, the Master Sergeant. That was the best thing we ordered. It was an omelet with big chunks of ham, bacon, spinach, tomatoes, onions, topped with cheese, came with the crispy potatoes on the side. That was the hit for us. Did you have anything else? Because that sounded like you had a lot of Well, I, I did try the mixed basket, which was the fried uh, mushrooms and pickles. And I order fr fried pickles anywhere I go. Mm -hmm. And I haven't had fried pickles like I had at this place, except in the South. They really nail that Southern. It feels like a place you'd go to in New Orleans or something like mm -hmm. that. But it's there in Concord. It's amazing. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, we did end with the pecan pie. Oh, okay. Yeah. Was it the fried one? The fried pecan yes. pie. Yeah, yes. yeah. Which the presentation was incredible. B made the, this beautiful plate with uh, a sprinkled homemade caramel. And um, pecan pie is kind of a litmus test for Southern food mm -hmm. for me, right? And yeah, they nailed it over there. But then when you fry it, you go to the next level. <laughs> that's the next right? thing. That's, yeah, that's crazy. Right? Yeah. Like fried Twinkies. Come yeah. on. There's and lots of fried desserts. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Any room for any desserts? Um, the waffle. With yeah. The chicken and waffle. Yeah. yeah. That, that was, was our pretty dessert. much dessert. Yeah. Do you ever get mm -hmm. desserts there? Um, I do. I've actually had the fried pecan. I actually had the fried um, key lime pie. What? Which is amazing. Whoa. And also... Um, <laughs> I'm embarrassed to say the fried uh, Oreo cookies as well too. Oh my goodness, I'm very embarrassed now. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything, PK. Don't be embarrassed. Well, I think you know what. I Enjoy really... your love of fried food. Well, this is your restaurant, so yeah. give us a quick summary, PK. Uh, if you want the best comfort food in Contra Costa and Concord, or maybe the East Bay, come to Big Country Kitchen. It's the best ever. All right, Jeannie. Great comfort food, down home environment. Check it out. 
Corey. A real special place. The people at Concord are really lucky. And instead of waiting in line forever uh, for a breakfast spot, just drive out to Concord and go to Big Country Kitchen. All right, if you would like to try Big Country Kitchen, it's located on Clayton Road at Grove in Concord. It's open for breakfast all day with lunch and dinner every day except Tuesdays. And the average tab per person without drinks is around $25. Genie's Spot, located in Castro Valley, was created when a cookie man and a cake lady got together. Their prodigy is a breakfast spot that has been serving Alameda County foodies since 2000. This is Denica's Real Food Kitchen. The inspiration for Denica's really started as a love story between my husband James and I. And when I met him, we fell head over heels in love. We just really wanted to create a place where we could be together and cook, serve, and be loved. Hi, I'm Denica Freitas. I am the owner and founder of Denica's Real Food Kitchen, and we are at my Castro Valley location today. My Spanish upbringing and culture really has influenced me in a way that it really is bringing love into everything that we do. Even though the cuisine that we serve isn't Spanish per se, the whole way of cooking of fresh ingredients from scratch and just family and community and connection, I attribute a thousand percent to that influence that I had growing up. When we opened our first location in Dublin 20 years ago, we really just were on such a shoestring budget and we didn't know what to do with all the wall space and my husband James had the idea to put our family photos up and we spent so much time at the restaurants that it really became our family room. This is our home, this is our life, this is what we love. Now, I love this, uh, a cake lady and a cookie man yeah. created a, I don't know, I'm thinking a <laughs> gingerbread boy, but you know. No? Breakfast spot. Breakfast spot. Yeah. So tell me about some of the baked goods and the, and the egg dishes. Yeah, um, the last time I went, I got the Roma via Paris, which was three eggs scrambled with spinach, tomatoes, mushrooms, goat cheese, fresh basil. It had a pesto drizzle. And of course I got the roasted veggies on the side and that was just, that delicious. Gave you, it, that gave you permission to then get a cinnamon <laughs> roll, right? Exactly, right? yes. Um, <laughs> actually, the last time I went, we shared a cookie dough waffle, and Denica's waffles are amazing. They're really like thick Belgian waffles, golden brown on the outside. I didn't really feel that they were. Oh, no. No, yeah. I had ordered the okay. cookie dough waffle. <gasps> you didn't like it? Um, oh, what a disappointment. I'm oh, sorry. No. It was just, I think maybe we went on a bad day or something like that. I really feel that. Okay. We had the chicken enchiladas. Um, it was definitely really, really dry, um, the chicken. Um, we also had the um, eggs benedict the holiday, with hollandaise sauce. I didn't even taste any sort of lemon flavor in there, the hollandaise. Right, the hollandaise. Um, Corey, tell me about your experience. Because I must have went on a bad one, day too, we got one. <laughs> <laughs> one person who loves it, we got having a bad day. I walked okay. in and it was packed and I was hungry, Absolutely. just like you. Yes. I was stoked to eat here because I'm like, yes. oh, everyone's here. Yes. Um, and and they've got these Uba love cakes. Right. And, oh, you know, the the yeah. menu is, uh, is like, well, they have a salsa bar there, so I'm like, should I order the Mexican mm -hmm. food? Mm -hmm. But they had a lot of American breakfast there and then they had some Hawaiian specials. Mm -hmm. So I got the James special omelet. It was disappointing. Oh. Uh, you know, with the omelet, I want it real eggy and cheesy. And okay. my date ordered chilaquiles because we said, okay, we might as well try south love of the border chilaquiles. menu because there's the free salsa bar there, right? The salsa was great, by the yeah. way. I love those chips and salsa. Yeah. Um, when I think of chilaquiles, I want real saucy and eggy and spicy. And this was chips with a little bit of thin sauce, some tomatoes on top, a little cheese sprinkled and then a little bit of egg, and then more chips on top of it. So it was like chips on chips. It was like a chip salad, basically. <laughs> it, well, I mean, it wasn't what you thought it took. I mean, so did they, oh. did they go on a bad day? Tell us why it's one of your favorite um, spots and what's, what's <laughs> going on here. I love it because it's just 
casual, like when you walk in, to me it feels like family. There's family photos right. on the wall. Mm -hmm. um, they have, also it's a good place to take kids. They have a train table where kids can play. Mm -hmm. You get your food fast and you can sit there as long as you want. It's right. really relaxed. You know, I, I think will, the food is great. I will say I did get a banana pancake and I loved it. Um, it was beautifully presented with edible flowers on it. And uh, I gotta say, it was perfectly crispy on the outside, chewy on the inside, and every bite had a full um, piece of banana in it. So my date and I were pretty impressed with that. They have great presentation yeah. for their dishes. Right. I mean, it's like, do we go for the decor or do we go for the well, I'll food. tell you what you go for. You go for that free water bar. They had three flavors had, of water there. Yeah, yeah, I was stoked on that. I, I love infused water bar. Yeah, yes, when, yes, when I went yes. there, they had cucumber water, yes. mint water, and hibiscus. Yes. I was so stoked on that. Yeah. I was like, water, you know? And also the, I mean, with the chips and salsa. I yeah. mean, that's Free complicated. chips and yeah, salsa, salsa, free water. Yeah. I was in heaven. Talk go about for that, the salsa bar. Why do you yeah. like the chips and salsa so much? I just love anything spicy in general. Um, so they have three kinds of salsa. They have like a pico de gallo style, a salsa verde, and then and the one that's my favorite is this beautiful orange color. They call it 100 chilies. It's the spiciest one. Um, yeah, you can add as much as you want to add as much spice right. or flavor. Um, right. I think what it's else great. do you get? What did what should they have ordered if they um, ordered wrong? I actually wrong? love the James special omelet. When I've had it, it's been great. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I mean, uh, I think it was a beautiful space. Right. I think that um, having the photos right. with mm -hmm. her family on the wall was right. just yeah. it was is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Very, did you guys try the cookies? I did try the cookie. I tried the um, chocolate chip cookie, and uh -huh. then what's the purple yam? How do I say that? Ube. 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 Yeah. I tried the ube and uh, the chocolate chip. It was a chocolate chip cookie. That was great, and the ube was a little dry. Well, they had little Aww. samples on the mm -hmm. on when you walk in. And then, yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah, I've never had anything bad there, and I always take cookies home. So I thought the ube cookie <laughs> was really good. Well, tell us what else you get when you go. Like, um, I had the sandwiches there. Uh, the tuna melt's really good. Right. Um, it has some crusty sourdough bread, and then the filling is you know warm and gooey cheesy yeah i have to mention my mimosa yeah. the That's giant like, mimosa it's comically big it is yeah, like out of a, a <laughs> marx brothers movie or something <laughs> <laughs> okay. this is your restaurant so give us a quick summary if you're in the east bay and you want a great breakfast check out denica's and take some cookies home all right and pk i say if they would fine tune their dishes i'm willing to try other locations that they have and corey Go for the salsa bar, stay for the water. All right, if you would like to try Benica's <laughs> Real Food Kitchen, it's located on Castro Valley Boulevard at Lake Chabot Road in Castro Valley. It's open for breakfast and lunch every day, and the average tab per person without drinks is around $20. Post your favorite food shots on Instagram at hashtag Bay Area Bites, and have a chance to see your food pics on the show. Corey's Oakland Eatery has been serving up breakfast and lunch for 46 years. A neighborhood favorite, it's been featured in music videos, local commercials, and conducts an annual napkin art contest. This is Mama's Royal Cafe. I got a beignet spinach with scrambled eggs. My name is Suresh Kaderi, the owner of Mama's Royal Cafe on Broadway in Oakland. I grew up in the neighborhood. All my brothers and sisters worked at uh, the Mediterranean Cafe on Telegraph. Things that we've kept the same uh, is traditions. We've got the same waitresses that people have been seeing for 40 years. Sherry's aprons on the walls and she changes them out by the season. The napkin art contest is a tradition here at Mama's. Uh, we do it annually right around this time. These guys all have a love for food and a love for mamas. Crispy bacon and grits. It's the same exact menu that they were eating before. People who've been coming here for years think this is the standard that breakfast should be set by. The thing that keeps me going is all my uh, customers, many of whom I know by first name now. They come in uh, multiple times a week. They're fabulous people. Uh, this is a place they call their second home. Uh, a lot of them met here. I had a customer come in and show his son the carvings on the walls. Said, this is where your mom and I met. And it's just really great to be seeing now the young children who came with their parents are now adults still coming to Mama's, having the same great food that their parents had.
All right, 46 years for uh, you know a restaurant to be in business and still thriving is a testament, isn't it? Yeah, people in Oakland love this place, and uh, it's real dependable. You know, we don't have a lot of greasy spoons. We don't have a lot of diners in Oakland, and uh, this place is one that hits all the boxes, right? Checks off all the marks. And yeah, so you go in for you know greasy spoon diner vibes, but the uh, ingredients are pretty gourmet, local, and fresh. And they have a revolving specials board, and that's what I like to order from usually. And what do you uh, get? Well, what did this, you get the last time? This time I went there, I noticed that there was a tomato and goat cheese scramble, mm -hmm. and it came with these. It came with cherry tomatoes and sun-dried tomatoes, and it was really just great. It tasted, every bite was fresh. The eggs were cooked perfectly. When you order potatoes at Mama's Royal. They always give a dollop of sour cream on top, and they have these house-made biscuits. They bake stuff house-made there, mm -hmm. and uh, th so the house-made biscuit I got, and I always get a sausage patty when I order, too. What about your experience, PK? Uh, well, we went on a weekday uh, during lunch, and um, I went with my goddaughter and, you know, her mom and her grandma and all of us, and um, I thought the place was very kitsch, um, decor and everything, but what, what did I order? Kitch in a positive way, kitchen in a negative way? It's positive, of okay, course. Yeah. Okay, oh, thank God. Yeah. I couldn't tell. <laughs> <laughs> Corey and I, I yeah. couldn't no, tell. No, 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 no. Like, I mean, this place kitch, is... Kitch, good kitch? It's cute because you okay, see the aprons good, yeah. on the wall. It's cute. totally yeah. cute. Okay. I mean, to have this in Oakland, it's fantastic. Right. So they're kid-friendly. Mm -hmm. And so the server came over and brought some crayons for my goddaughter to oh. color. Mm -hmm. And grandma ordered the croque madame. She loved it. Right. The way that they had the eggs on top, you know, with the grilled and the ham, she loved it. It was just, it, she said it was one of the best that she's ever had. Wow. On this, so. Okay, um, you can wipe your brown yeah. out. <laughs> but, you know, and so my goddaughter had the short stack pancakes, and she loved it. Mm -hmm. And so. You I didn't might, dig your fork in there and try them at all? I tried everything, yeah. and I thought everything was good, you know? Yeah. And then my friend had the eggs benedict with holiday sauce. She liked it. She thought it would need a little bit something, but she goes, it was great. So that's one of their signatures, right? The yeah, the Benedicts, they, the Benedicts are really are popular big. there. And if you, you know, if you, there's special Benedicts they have on the special board. Right. If you see a crab cake Benedict on the special board, get it, because it's not right. always right. there yet. Right. So we had the catfish fried sandwich with coleslaw okay. and side potatoes. Nah. Didn't like that. It was not mm -hmm. good. PK, it this was, is the breakfast episode. You're supposed to order breakfast. Well, because <laughs> I, I, I ever ordered breakfast. It was during lunch, so I ordered like a lunch. It was okay. not that good. I had a lot of catfish sandwiches in my life, and right. this was not the best, so. Right, yeah, all right. No. I'm with you, so, okay. I'm sorry, okay. Mama Royal, too, and Dela, or no way you're talking. Sorry, Mama Royal. On there, so. Go, go, Kevin. All right, let me get to Jeannie. Um, there were some hits and misses on the menu, but when we walked in the door, I loved the atmosphere. I loved the kitsch. Yes. I loved the like old kind of diner, kind of like a cottage, the vintage aprons on the wall. I thought it was super cute. Mm -hmm. So I ordered the corned beef hash, and that was really disappointing. Um, it came, it looked beautiful. It had big chunks of beef, mm -hmm. but just kind of, it didn't taste like corned beef to uh, me. Okay. It really tasted like bell pepper. Um, but my mom ordered the biscuit breakfast sandwich. Have you ever had that? No, I haven't. It was I great. So the biscuits are really good. Yeah. That came with egg, arugula, tomato, gruyere cheese, and a thick slice of bacon. Mm. That was great. I would go back for that. So okay. it was kind of like hit or miss with the menu. Is that all you yeah. had for those um, two dishes? No, we tried a bunch of stuff. <laughs> uh, we got the Acme Hala orange French toast with strawberries. Mm -hmm. That came out, it looked beautiful, really thick bread, lots of fresh strawberries, but the bread was so thick that it didn't end up really tasting like French toast, like the egg didn't quite get into the bread enough. Um, so that was just okay. But we got a waffle also to share. That was great. Yeah. And why was, was it so good? It was a thin waffle. It wasn't like a Belgian waffle. Mm -hmm. Just really thin, soft. Uh, the syrup came out warm. Um, it just hit the spot. So did they order right, wrong, having been there so many got times? Got the Benedict. You got the waffle, the, the hollow French toast, the biscuit sandwich. It sounds like they got the right thing, except that catfish sandwich, PK. <laughs> Sorry. But no, you know, <laughs> I understand. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, breakfast and catfish for breakfast. you know, brunch, whatever it is. You know, uh, you know um, they house make their muffins too, and it's not your standard muffin. I'm not a big muffin person. I don't like it when it's too cakey. Their muffins are kind of like scone-like in texture and a little crunchy on top, 
and uh, any and they, they change their flavors every day or every day. Yeah. So if you see a banana flavored thing, I say get it. Any anytime you see a banana flavored muffin, grab that. Right. Right. Yeah. And they do have um, some adult beverages, don't they? A few, they do. Yeah. A few yeah. Adult yes. beverages to yeah, yeah, yeah. choose from. And they have coffees and talk about what you washed everything down with. I'm always drinking a mimosa. When I was going to say that. Yeah, let's be your mimosa okay. critique yeah. on this place. I mean, they do it right. It's a little bit of OJ and a lot of champagne. So yeah, that's well, the way to go. I went with my parents and they got the mimosa for two. And the way they brought it out was really cute. Um, two champagne flutes, a little mini bottle of mum champagne, oh. and a little craft of orange juice so you can make it yourself. I thought that was really cute. I love and charming. those little bottles. Yeah. 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 I just had a glass of Cabernet and it was great. <laughs> yeah. that was I watched watch a dog with a catfish sandwich. How about that? Cabernet right? for breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, for your spot, give us a quick summary. Greasy spoon vibes, diner joint, but with elevated gourmet ingredients, always reliable. Take the family and friends. I love Mama's Royal Cafe. All right, and Jeannie? Cool, funky, old Oakland vibe. All right, PK? A hole in wall with a um, baked breakfast, fantastic. All right, if you would like to try Mama's Royal Cafe, it's located on Broadway at 40th in Oakland. It's open for breakfast and lunch every day, and the average tab per person without drinks is around $25. I have to thank my raucous guests on this week's show, P.K. Pomodon, who invited us to his <laughs> comfort food spot owned by two amazing women at Big Country Kitchen in Concord, Jeannie Powers, who shared her breakfast pick born out of a pastry romance at Danica's Real Food Kitchen in Castro Valley, and Corey Sklar, who shared his hip into historic eatery, Mama's Royal Cafe, between the Temescal and Piedmont areas of Oakland. Join us next time when three more guests will recommend their favorite spots right here on Check Please Bay Area. I'm Leslie Sabraco, and I'll see you then. Cheers, everyone. Cheers, Cheers. Cheers to you. Cheers. <laughs> I was sort of fun. We really want to hear about your experiences at any of the restaurants we've been talking about. So keep in touch with us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And don't forget that you can watch any of the shows on our website at kqed.org slash checkplease. It's where you'll find links to the restaurants and my notes on the wines we're drinking today. Cheers! Check Please Bay Area is made possible by the members of KQBD and by... Cooking is the first kind of love you know. It was starting when I was a child with my grandmother doing fresh pasta and now I transmit it to all the guests. It's something made specially for them. Oceana Cruises, proud sponsor of Check Please Bay Area. It's the national recognition for healthcare equality. It's a thousand things, big and small. Sutter Health. The Bay Area Airport that's close and reliable. iFlyOAK.com. Total Wine & More, offering more than 8,000 wines, 2,500 beers, and 3,000 spirits. Total Wine & More, now with nine Bay Area locations. TotalWine.com. At Redwood Credit Union, we help people achieve their financial goals together, offering customized full-service personal and business banking for the North Bay and San Francisco. Redwood Credit Union.